Hi, my name is Chiva. I work in Telenor, and today I'm going to show you how to connect this FiPi to our IoT platform. To help you get started with IoT, we've created something called Start IoT. On startiot.telenor.com, you can find help and tutorials on how to connect your things to the internet and to our managed IoT cloud platform. If you click here on the tutorials, you'll find several options. Today, we're going to do this FiPi dev kit with the MQTT protocol, and we're going to go through all the steps necessary to create a thing in our platform, connect the dev kit, and send real data. The first thing you need to do is to sign up for a MIC platform account. So what you do is you follow the links here, then you create a user here in the sign-up sheet. Once you've signed up for a user account, you need to verify your email address. Then you'll have to wait to be accepted into the platform. This might take up to 24 hours, but will work as soon as we can. The next step is to download the software you need. So you'll need to download Node.js, Visual Studio Code, and then a couple of extensions for Visual Studio Code. It's very simple. You simply download, install, and open the programs. Okay, so now we downloaded Node.js and we downloaded, installed, and opened Visual Studio Code. So this is where you're gonna work now. So what you need to do once you've opened VS Studio Code is to install the PyMaker plugin. So you simply press the extension symbol and type PyMaker. Then I've already installed it, so you just click the install button and everything should be perfect. The next thing you want to do is to go to all commands, global settings, and simply type true instead of false here on safe boot and add comma pem here for readable files. Then command S to save and you're good to go. Now you're ready to start assembly your dev kit and I'll take you through it step by step. So you start with a FiPi and insert the SIM card in the SIM card slot. Then we have to attach the LTE antenna And now we attach the FiPi to the expansion board. So it's important that the antenna is in the same direction as the USB port. Make sure that the pins are aligned correctly before pushing it down. Now we're going to assemble the sensor. So the white part goes in here into the sensor. And we have to use some jumper cables to be able to attach it to the expansion board. It's important that you get the right pins to the right outputs. So here, the black one is ground, the red one is the voltage, and the green one is data. So make sure you insert the right ones here when the colors change. The data goes into P3. The voltage goes into 3V3 and the ground one goes into ground. There we are. The only thing missing is the USB port, which we attach here, like that. Now that you've assembled your dev kit, you can connect it to your computer. And if you have the VS Code window open, you will see that it's connecting to your board. And to check that everything's all right, you can go to all commands and then press get board version and you'll get a version of your board. This version is fine now that we're using the LTEM network and the MQTT protocol. But if you're gonna use the NB-IoT network and the co-op protocol, you need to upgrade your firmware both on the board and on the modem. The next step you need to do is to register your thing or your dev kit um, in MIC, the Managed IoT Cloud Platform. 
To create a new thing in Mic, you need to first create a new thing type. So you press this button, then you call your thing something and give it a description if you want to. Then you have to choose your domain. So you'll just have one possible option from the drop down menu. And this here is the uplink and downlink transformation. Because we're using the MQTT protocol, you don't need to write anything here. But if you're using co-op, you need to add uplink transformation. Now we have a thing type here on the left-hand menu. And you can see you get a dashboard. And you press this things here to add a new thing. You need to unpress create batch, create a thing name and add it to your domain. Then you have to choose protocol from the drop down menu and you choose MQTT. Press create and your thing is created. Something you can do right away is to press here and hatch the thing ID column. Save selection. We're going to use this thing ID later once we're, we're configuring the code. Now we've come to the point where we're going to actually download the example code and modify it and upload it to our thing. You go into our GitHub repository by following the link in the um, tutorial, which will take you here. You need to press the clown or download button and download the zip. So in the downloaded folder, you have several documents and also folders. So I want you to go into VS Code, press File, Open, and then open the entire folder that you downloaded. For your device to be able to talk to the IoT platform, you need to have certificates downloaded to your device. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into Make, download the certificates and upload it into the folder where your example code is. So you simply hover over the thing, press download certificate and open it. These three certificates needs to go inside of the certificate folder in your downloaded code. You can see that they are now here in the VS Code window. The next step is to modify uh, the code's MQTT configurations. So we go into main.py and we can see here we're missing the thing idea. This you can find in MIC. This is your thing idea. So you can copy it and paste it to your code. Remember to press Command S or Control S to save your code. The final step you need to do is to uncomment the sensor code. To do this, simply remove the comments. And remember again to save. Now you're ready to upload your code to your FiPy. Simply press the upload button on the bottom tab. Once you've uploaded the code to your device, it will attach to the network and start sending data to the MIC platform. Here you can view the data by clicking on your thing in the dashboard. So here you see the humidity and temperature. By clicking move, you can edit the dashboard and make new widgets with, for instance, time series graphs. So, this was a quick example of how to get started. If you need help, please visit the Start IoT portal. Thank you.